Welcome back to my channel guys, Previews and Vlogs. So if you guys have not been here before, my channel is all about tech gear, cars, and sneakers. If you guys are interested in that stuff, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like, and share with everybody else. If you guys have been here before, thank you guys for coming back. So now, today I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and setting up of a new wireless car charger. Actually, it's not new, it's been out for a few months. I've been looking at it online, doing my research on it, and today, I decided, actually a few days ago, I decided to get it, and received it today and we're gonna go ahead and unbox it and install it and see how it actually works. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we're gonna go out to my car. Actually, let's get a knife so we can open this up. It's actually a beautiful day today. Finally, we got some sun outside. Jesus Christ, I was getting homesick here, reeking cabin fever and stuff. Finally got some nice weather. Anyways, let's get this thing opened up. All right, so this charger, I've been, now normally I use a Skosh charger, and I'll show you guys that in a little bit here, what's in the car, but I do have a video on it, if you guys wanna take a look at that. And I'll actually put the description on here for you guys, a, so you can see that video for the Skosh charger, if you guys are interested in that. But the problem with this Skosh charger is that it's magnetic, it works good, but it, it makes me put on these metal plates on the back of a phone case. Now this phone case is a pretty thick phone case. Now, my wife has the same thing on her Nissan Rogue and Skosh for the, or actually I wouldn't say Skosh, Spec for the iPhone 10 or X or iPhone X made it, made a case for that that has magnetic, the magnets inside or the metal plates inside the case. For the iPhone 10X Max, they have not made that yet. And I don't think they've made it for the Galaxy either, which is what I'm recording this video on, the Galaxy uh, S10 Plus. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and, now this one is supposed to be a charger. Of course, it doesn't need magnets. It does have the arms and the bottom piece here that actually will clamp down to the phone. It's supposed to be very, very secure and hold on very tight. So we're gonna go ahead and set this up right now in the car. We'll be removing the, the skull shot of there. So it comes of course with the vent clip to clip onto the vent, a USB charger, and that is, uh, I believe that's actually USB-C. So it is a USB-C charger. It does have quick charging capabilities for all models, such as pretty much the iPhone XX Max, iPhone 8, Samsung Galaxy S6, 7, 8, 9, S9 Plus, and I'm pretty sure for the Galaxy S10 as well, and every other phone, and it has regular charging capabilities as well. So let's go ahead and go to the car and put this thing on. Now, I don't know where I'm gonna be installing this, since it has a USB-C and not a regular USB. Um, I did not know it came with a USB-C on there. I'm gonna have to figure out where I'm gonna install this at this point, because I have a USB um, cable running through my car, and it needs to be longer than this. So let's find out where I'm gonna install this. So again, I showed you guys in the other video before, this is my charger now. They put it in there, of course, the car's gotta be on. And once it recognizes it, you guys see it charges the phone. And it's good, I mean, it's quick to remove and put on, but I'm tired of the big bulky case. This big giant, and these two things are just god awful. I mean, it just looks awful with that on there. But the concept is awesome, but I'm just tired of it. So. I'm gonna try out this new one here and see how it works out. All right, so of course this is gonna come off just like this. Just like that. Put that in there like this. 
and then we'll clamp this down. Now, right now I have, like I showed you, I have it right on this side. The problem here is when I'm driving, especially in summertime, and I lower the window down and I got, and I have the sun coming in from this side, it hits the phone directly and not just the glare, but it heats the phone up immensely. Um, I'm gonna try to put it on this vent. My CTS, uh, the 14 CTSs have this lip that come up off the vent here and kind of looks like a little canopy here and it prevents this charger, the Scotch charger, from actually hooking up, up on this side. That's why it's on this side. So this one has a longer base and I'm gonna see if it holds on to here, but my problem here is I hate cables running through my vehicle. Oh, I don't like cables going through here, so I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna run this cables. Now, of course, you guys could install it on your vehicle. This is mainly a review and unboxing on the actual charger. So once I get this hooked up on the car, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how it works. So I'll be back in a second. All right, guys, so I go ahead and went ahead and installed it in here. I am a big stickler when it comes to wires and cables running through my car. I know some people have cables coming from their radar detectors, things like that, just hanging down through the center. I hate that. This actually kind of bothers me right now. Um, when I'm driving in the car, you pretty much don't see it. I will see, I'll be seeing the phone. This is my point of view pretty much if you're driving. Um, so you'll see pretty much just the phone sitting there. I did, it does cover my uh, hazard button. And thank God I haven't had to use it. And of course, my screen is barely covered. So I'm gonna see how I like it there. If not, the only other spot that will allow me to put this on will be back over here. Uh, I will have to remove this cable out here, of course, but I'm gonna leave that there for now. That's for the Scotch mount that was on there. But like I said, the uh, Scotch mount cable, I ran it directly through here, all the way through the bottom, I'll, popped out here. You can barely even see the cable. So it was a clean install. Um, this one, I did the same thing. I hooked up the, um, USB right in here, ran the cable right through there, back up to here, but it comes out through here. Now, if I wanted to really hide this, I'm gonna need a longer cable than what it comes with. On top of that, I would have to remove the radio, which removing the radio, the radio for this, or this panel, at least for that requires me removing the entire top part of the dash. So if I like the position where this is going to be at. I'll leave it there. But anyways, let's go ahead and see how this works with the uh, the mount or with the phone. Well, first, let's get some power to it. All right, so it's supposed to, now I'm gonna take the case off my phone, of course. All right. See, that's an issue there. Driving that, seeing how much that shakes, that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. I don't know how much, how how good that's gonna be there. By it's, if it's gonna shake a lot or not. But it's, it's charging, so it does hold up. So it's got a scanner, you gotta swipe your hand through the back of it to get it, pull the phone out. So it's a little bit more, it's longer than, of course, just grabbing the phone, putting it on a charger that the Scotch mount gives you. Let's go for a quick ride. Far doesn't bother me as much. It's pretty good there. So far, so good. I mean, haven't hit any very many bumps really. Don't have that many bumps on the by my house or potholes or anything like that or uneven roads. So, so far it's actually pretty good. 
actually working pretty good. I'm going to take this. Actually, today we're going out to my sister's out by close to Iowa where she lives. Davenport or wherever the heck she lives out in Barstow. There you go. Never remember where she lives at. But we're going to go out there. I'm going to actually hook this up in the wife's car because we're going to be driving her Rogue. And I'm going to take this and see how the actual phone or how the holder holds up as we're driving about 130 miles out that way. So... But actually, it's not, it's not moving. It's not that as much as I thought it was. I'm pretty sure if I hit a bump pretty hard or a pothole or something like that, it's going gonna, it's gonna to shake. And I don't remember if the Scotch one did shake. I believe it did. Actually, the, this one actually holds on to the vent a lot better than the Scotch one did. The Scotch one, when I pulled it off with the magnets, sometimes I would pull off the actual charger with the phone. So, not bad, actually. So, I'm going to pull over here. I'm going to switch it and see how it works with the new Galaxy S10. Uh... Take the S10. And there you go, you guys saw it was charging. Pulling off the charger. Phone is charging. Actually, not bad. I actually do like it there. Um, I do see the wire, so I'm gonna probably have to end up taking my radio out and everything. Again, yes, I know that sounds crazy, but I do not like wires. I like my car to be look clean on the inside. I keep the whole thing clean. There's, I mean, no wires. I, I just can't stand wires just hanging everywhere or cords hanging everywhere. But that is a quick video on this. And I will give you a, maybe a, update later on when I do another video on how I like the charger but so far it seems like it's doing its job the it's opening up it opens up when you need it to the only little thing that I kind of not gonna like very much is going to be I have to put my hands behind it to get it to open so you got to reach behind it you got to reach all the way behind it back here to get it to open so if you got your phone on there You gotta reach back here to get it to open. But again, it's it's better than having a gigantic case, I guess. Uh, and I will see how it works out with having that case. I am gonna be getting some wraps that I'm gonna be do, wrapping up the uh, Galaxy S10 and the uh, iPhone. I'm gonna be wrapping both of them and uh, going through slickwraps.com and buying some wraps and having them put on my phone. So that'll be the only protection I will have on these phones. All right, guys, so that's a quick video on this new charger that I just picked up. Uh, I will put the description of what I got. It was an Amazon charger. I um, pretty much picked it up from Amazon. I've been seeing it uh, come up on my feeds and everything and decided to just go ahead and pull the trigger on it finally and, and get it. It was only like $26. It was not that much money. Seems like it's working great. I'll see how it keeps working. I'll give you an update on one of my other videos I do for my car. Um, if you guys enjoyed this video, if you guys found the video helpful, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I'll see you guys next time.